All right. Beer review time. Um, if you can't see the cap too well, it's uh, a maple. And it just says dark French. And we are looking at the Sleeman Dark. It's a 5.5% dark ale from Sleeman Brewing. They like to use clear bottles for their bottled beers because some of their stuff you can get cans and bottles, some of it just the bottles. And I mean, it looks okay, for but if you know about beer and clear and green bottles, okay. But, anyways, it's their dark ale and it's 5.5% alcohol. Got the little logo on it, the leaf and the beaver. Sleeman Brewing since 1834. This is like a mass produced dark ale. I don't know if that really smells like a dark ale. A little boozy, maybe. Maybe a little like caramel or malt. Caramel or maple-y like, like a little sweetness, a little like nut brown like or something. Might remind me of the honey lager a little, or maybe a little bit like a nut brown ale. But it's a dark ale, and let's see what happens. Cheers. Come, 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 come. Not sure how the pour is going. I'm not fully looking at it. Like you know, it was a little hard to see at the same time too. Guess a little fast. Um, my pour gave three fingers of head. Not a lot of bubbles, but there's some and they pop. So it looks like some of this head will go quick, but it should stay for a little moment at least. Uh, more of the beer showing. It's more. They classify this as their dark ale, but are you fucking kidding me? It does not look like a goddamn dark ale. It looks like a clear, like, I don't know, maybe like a red ale or an amber ale. If this was served to me, and I wasn't told what beer I was drinking, I would not think I'm getting a dark ale. This does not qualify look wise dark beer to me. So, appearance wise, it doesn't look like a bad beer, but for its style, for its style, it looks like shit. Doesn't look like that's how it should look. But just looking at it and not thinking of its style, it looks okay. Um, not a lot to smell, but again, kind of like in the bottle, it's almost got like a caramel malt smell, or almost like if there's maple. A little bit of like a nut brown ale smell. So I'm going to say it reminds me kind of a like their honey brown lager smell a bit maybe. Or I could be wrong. But whatever. A little sweet. Some. All I know is it 
it smells fine. Cheers. Okay, this does not even taste like a dark ale. Eh. Taste, look, and name wise, fucking fail. If we ignore the factor of its name and look, then it looks okay. Whatever with the name, but taste wise, it's bitter and watery. It's like an English. It's like an English bitter. Um, it's watery. Uh, maybe it's a high medium body. There's like a bitterness. I don't know. There's some sort of a flavor there. There must have put a lot of hops in this. I don't know. So in my conclusion, this 5.5. So called percent so called dark ale from Sleeman. Ignoring the name that Sleeman Dark Ale. Well, put it this way the coloring looks fine, okay, but as far as a dark ale goes, it looks like shit because it doesn't look like a dark ale. And taste wise, um, not anything horrid, but. I'm not really preferring it. It's kind of like, okay, this doesn't taste horrible, 100%, but not something I would preferably want. And on that taste, does it taste like a dark ale? To me, no. So, complete fail on the dark ale aspect part. So, as far as the dark ale goes, I'm going to give it, you know, like, like it's a fail on the dark ale part. But outside of that factor, it's okay, but not what I would prefer. And definitely wouldn't want a bunch of, which I may or may not have to do a bunch of in the future. And it's more like maybe like an English bitter or something, because again, it's watery, high medium bodied. It's got some flavor of some sort, and there's like bitterness. A lot of the time I'm talking. Everything's like gone, and I'm ready for another sip. More like an amber pale ale, amber ale, English bitter. If the hops give it like a medium, high medium bodied with some bitterness. And some flavor and it's watery and it's not long lasting and it completely fails as the dark ale that it's labeled as and it's 5.5 percent and have a good day <laughs>